Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Okay, make it make sense. Well, we're going to try. But before we do that, we want y'all to like, share, comment, subscribe, all of the following for this channel, as well as my original channel, which is Deb Chanel 48 Squirrel. Okay, make sure y'all go on over there as well. But share the videos. Yes, just share it is caring. So we want y'all to share. We don't. We don't want y'all to miss out on subscribing because with subscription, that's zero dollars for you, okay? You get, you are notified when I actually drop and upload a video, okay? So, we need y'all to understand these rules of the regulations of the house, okay? So, uh, yeah, we're going to let you look at those disclaimers here and there because all thing we do over here is have a conversation. None of this... Uh, information that i'm giving you it's only for entertainment purposes okay and i throw my spin on it it's nothing that's set in stone it's nothing that's set in yeah these people did that and this is why no i'm too lazy to go out there and do true journalist integrity type of research okay that's just like i'm back in school like i'm back in college that's something i don't want to do okay i just want to come over here speak to my fam about a situation or a particular person in um, the celebrity world and get y'all take on it, okay? Sometimes we agree on certain subjects. Sometimes you see it different from where I see it as far as my perspective. But guess what? It's all gravy. It's all cool. I don't get mad at you if you sit there and uh, diss me or, you know, tell me I'm crazy. I don't know what I'm talking about. This, that, that. Cause you want to, you know, be out there for your favorite celebrity that I may be talking about. You know what I'm saying? But see, that's what's good about life. When you become a person where you're level headed and you're logical in your thinking, you can listen at somebody's perspective, even if it's so far out or so, uh, how you say, missed the mark on where you were trying to go with it. Because, you know, you like that. You like freedom of expression. And that's what I do. I say what I have to say. You say what you have to say. And sometimes, like I said, we agree. And then sometimes we are both in a, a different boat. We're reading out the two different scripts of a play. But it's okay because you had to express your opinion. Now, we're going to get into this Chris Brown situation. They brought a story out on him on Hollywood Life. Okay, he's over there in Europe. Paris, France, okay, sitting up there performing for them, and they loving every bit of him, okay, uh, Terry Zeller wrote this piece up, and he called it, um, or she called it, I don't know, because Terry could go both ways, uh, Chris Brown scene with ex Amika Harris on night out amidst his tour in Europe, and they giving us photos, which I was seeing here, here and there, because I also got him showcased in other platforms that he was on, Doing his darn thing, okay? Oh, I can see why y'all like Chris Brown. I can see. He's a smooth brother. And we had smooth brothers like him in my age group. You know what I'm saying? So I understand the fascination. But one thing is one thing. And another is another. But I'm trying to figure out why is he stepping out with an ex? How many women he could have thrown at his feet? And the person that I really, really feel in my heart, and I do believe... It was a Rihanna that he really, really loved. But the public just wasn't going to stand for them to be together. And see, I blame Oprah Winfrey. I blame Oprah Winfrey because she shouldn't have put her two cents in. Then I want to ask her for no change. We were still, uh, what do you call it, uh, spending greenbacks, throwing it up, making it rain. And she's going to come with her two cents, okay? And, and just make Rihanna just say, uh-uh, you need to denounce him. Uh, then I think the Me Too movement came shortly after that. You know, I'm like, the boy was 17 years old, people. What have y'all done out there? 14, 15, hell, even 12. Some people have even murdered their family members, okay? Uh, with a, a lesser age group. So we need to just worry about the society of our children at whole, at large. But like I said, it was a mistake. People, I mean, think about how many people stay in, in relationships. They get bad and uh, what we call battered and beat to death, okay? At least Rihanna understood what was going to be said. And she tried to get the boy some help. But he was just running off on his hormones. And probably, you see that little weed thing in his hand? <laughs> he had to take a puff, puff, pass, pass on what Snoop Dogg be going on. Like, no, you don't have to be physical or violent with someone. But, you know, it, it happened. And it's what you do after the fact. 
that shows your growth in understanding what you did from the beginning was wrong. Okay, I don't care if he's your husband, if he your man, and you all down for him, this, that, and the third. Don't ever let nobody put their hands on you, okay, in a forceful way, whether they pulling you or trying to restrain you or they down right out trying to beat you. You know what I'm saying? Just pick up the biggest thing you can find, knock the hell out of them, and then go on to the, uh, what do you call it? The hospital first, and probably didn't want to have the hospital uh, people call the uh, police department. You see what I'm saying? And let this man know exactly what you felt about him doing to you. And don't get me wrong, we got some women out here offending men, beating up their asses, okay? I, it's just a hard pill for me to swallow. But, you know, looking at some of these women, I think they could hold their own in the men that they choose to deal with, okay? So that ain't right either. We don't want no woman be no no man we don't want no man be no no woman okay we just thought that's not love we into love over here not fighting and discord well we get on into the article we get on I, it just bothered me to see you know that he had to go back to somebody else and that she was good to him i mean dealing with the dealing with the opposite sex or the same sex or whoever playing the part as the woman whoever playing the part as the man when you mix all the emotions in them, it becomes it becomes a bit much. And you got to be strong at heart to be able to withstand a relationship, period, and point blank. But anyway, we got Chris Brown. He caused a flurry of reconciliation rumors when he was spotted in the city of lights with his baby mom. Well, you know, he got a lot of baby mamas. I'm just saying, okay? He got a few baby mamas. So we need to be asked, which one are you talking about, Chris? Which one? Hollywood life. Um, but it goes on to say the singer who just released his controversial music video with Chloe Bailey stepped out with Amika Harris following his concert at the Accord Arena in Paris on Thursday, February 23rd. The two stars were dressed to impress with Amika rocking a North Face X Gucci jacket and Chris looking cool in a plaid shirt and baseball cap. Yeah. It may not be her. It might be Chris Jacket. You know what I'm saying? He said, baby, we can't afford all that. Now, you can wear mine, and I just wear my little uh, pinstripe shirt and whatever, and we, we'll call it Gucci. Because it, it kind of is unisex, a jacket, the North Face Gucci jacket. Mm-hmm. Okay. The Back to Sleep singer and the model was first linked back in two, 2015 and Welcome to Sun, Aiko. Oh, she's a model. Okay, so she might hold her own. She might hold her own. But anyway, that's not just the situation. But they were saying this was in uh, November 2019. Then they broke up after Aiko or Eco arrived and had an off-again, on-again relationship ever since. It's unclear if the pair are together at this time. As Chris revealed, he had a three-month-old daughter named Lovely with model Diane Diamond Brown. See, that's what I'm saying. The kids pretty be going everywhere. Everywhere but the right way. Okay, just, just dropping it and spreading it raw. For anything, to anyone, to anybody. You know, you can get it. I guess you just have to have a certain look. Okay? That, that kind of disappointed me. But, you know, whoever you love on, whoever you, you know, whatever type of woman or man you want, it's your preference. It's your preference. But I just find it odd that uh, he can have brown-skinned women in his videos and get very touchy-feely. You know what I'm saying? I almost had that, like, magic to it. Like, y'all were meant to be. Oh, here that's his last video um, I saw where he's levitating up from the car, him and the woman. I forgot what it was called, but it was a cute video. I like how they were dancing a little salsa mix here and there. But he's never in a relationship with a brown-skinned woman. Okay? But like I said, it might just be his per uh, preference of uh, who he wants to be seen with and who, who he wants to love on. Uh, but anyway, um, they said uh, he was dating uh, or in a relationship with another model um, who had his child, Lovely. Her name was Diane Brown. Uh, he, and I guess uh, in April 2022, that's when the baby came to be. Okay, although Chris hasn't publicly acknowledged his daughter often, a source told Hollywood Life exclusively that he plays a part in her life since before she was born. Okay, since she was born, I understand that one, okay? Are you talking about when she was in the womb or something, Chris? I'm confused when... 
that statement was printed up by this uh, journalist. But anyway, moving on. The island comes out the Chris latest wave of criticism was set off by Chloe's announcement that she had collaborated with him on a single, How Does It Feel? And it's accompanying music video. The younger, well, the young sing, singer was slammed on social media for associating with Chris after fans brought up his assault of his then Rihanna girlfriend in 2009. They also pointed out that his ex, Karuchi Train, had to get a five-year restraining order against him in 2017. Now, I do remember that situation with him and Karuchi and stuff. Uh, Karuchi liked to fight, too. And, like, don't strike up at a man and want to strike him. Don't think he may have a conniption and hit you back. Because first and foremost, you shouldn't, have, you shouldn't have had to strike a man. You know what I'm saying? But... I think he was young, too, when he was dating Karuchi. Not trying to say he was young, dumb, and going to forgive him for it. But, you know, we need to forgive everybody and their trespasses against us, okay? And that they don't treat us the way we feel we need to be treated. But uh, we ain't saying we forgot anything. We ain't saying that now. We all forgave, and we don't move on. But we ain't forgot nothing, okay? We know how we need to deal with you currently and in the future. That's all I'm saying. Okay, then it says, um, uh, even Cheetah Girls alum Kelly Williams had to speak out. That's, um, that's a girl from, uh, Cheetah, what do you call that? Cheetah's Club, or when Raven Simone and, uh, Adrian Ballon and somebody else. That's, look at three little women. Hell, I can't remember y'all. Help me out, okay? Well, I might be mixing peoples up with different groups, um, but three little women. I think it was Asia Berlin, Kelly, and uh, Natura. I think that was her name. Y'all fact check me if y'all want to. Other than that, let's keep it moving. Uh, that's the girl, the light-skinned girl. Uh, not Adrian Belon is on the uh, the real, but the other one, light-skinned girl. Okay, because Natura was brown skin. Okay, uh, that's the one I'm speaking of, the other light-skinned chick. Um, she said, let him come out with his own record. So genius. So captivating that it makes us all forget he beats women. He can't, so he won't. Um, he I wouldn't title him as a, a woman beater unless he don't beat up more than one person, okay? So, uh, yeah, Kelly needs to sit the hell on, sit down somewhere because I ain't seen her doing too much of anything. And people on the mainstream have caught her uh, missions and actions, you know, where we could see them and see what she's doing. Because right now, I think she's just raising her children and being a family mom. And that's fine. That's fine. But don't bring somebody else down, especially Chloe Bailey at her height of her career, being uh, strung along by Beyonce and Jay-Z, you know. So don't, don't creep on her wagon. Don't be on her choo-choo train trying to start and disrupt anything. But I was, you know, I was uh, glad she didn't come out and say nothing. This shows growth that uh, amongst um with Chloe Bailey, because she ain't let nobody else stop her shine, you know, because she got to look out for herself. But like I say, Beyonce and Jay-Z ain't too kosher either. If you get to really going down that rabbit hole with them, you may find some things that you may not like about them. And I've done videos of it and stuff. It's a lot of Hollywood mess, you know what I'm saying? The, the rituals and the rights that they feel they deserve and the sacrifices and stuff. You know, that's what I'm saying. Chloe has gotten a taste of it. She see what's really going on, but it's up to her to make those decisions. Because that's one thing about Jesus Christ. He gives you the option to play in the bad field or to play in the good field. It's your choice, okay? So you do what you have to do. But anyway, moving on from there, I just thought I'd drop that on y'all. Yeah, he's, I love that little suit that he got on. It's kind of sexy, ain't it? He wearing those real dressy shoes. I want those those are Scooby-Doo's. As Jay-Z say, those need to get you some Scooby-Doo's. Those are shoes, by the way. All right. But uh, I don't know. It's just a whole big bunch of crappy pop. You either want to be on Chris' side. You want to be on Kelly's side. You want to be on Chloe's side. Pick a side. That's all I can say. And um, definitely uh, don't let your your choice be, uh, what do you call it, detrimental to yourself. You see what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, y'all get down in the comments because, uh, Kelly, we didn't want to talk too much about her because she wasn't saying nothing but, you know, creating noise. And we don't like to hear noise over here, uh, on Make It Make Sense because we always try to make sense out of a particular situation, a particular, uh, thing we may have come across and we need some more clarification. 
but that's all I got. I ain't got no more. And remember, subscribe, like, and share my videos. And uh, I need y'all to like and share and subscribe now. We're trying to build this channel up. Other than that, I ain't got no more. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye-bye.